What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're cutting a brand new truck. I'm gonna show you guys the super easy way to cut a 19 to 22 GM truck to fit 26 by 14s. Let's get this bread. Hello, Miss Lady. <laughs> I was trying to get Jake eating the honey bun. Hello, Miss. It's number two. No. Two honey buns. Two. He eats two before the gym. Two after the gym. No, I've been slacking off the gym. I've been here. taking a break from the gym. More honey buns. <laughs> That's that makes sense. Gotta have something to work off when it gets summertime again. I don't go to the gym, so we know. Yeah, yeah. we know. <laughs> we know. <laughs> we know. Only machine you know. Is oh, we know. <laughs> Rocket to your let's fly. He's coming to get it. Freaking beautiful. I love that. Got the boy Matt up here today. We're gonna do some washing. We're gonna do some washing. Look, I was thinking about this on the way to work. I've had this truck for probably seven years now. I got it in 2015. I've had this truck for seven years, almost eight years, seven and a half. And I never realized how dirty the trucks get after it rains and just driving on them, right? Because the silver is always super clean. You never realize how much just crap builds up on the paint but having this wrap really shows because you get to see more of like the watermarks and you get to see more just kind of the, the build up and stuff. But the main thing that I'm talking about and you see it the most on the black is look at all the like sand and stuff that comes off the road that builds up on the paint. And when you're washing your truck, you're actually just scratching the clear coat and the paint if you don't and that's why i just i never knew this and i just i'm an idiot obviously but there's just so much build up like all kinds of just little just sand and dust and i mean you're just every time you wash your vehicle you're just scratching the hell out of it because you're just washing that around on the paint all day long and i just dawned on me on my way to work this morning i was like dang i saw that yesterday i feel like the people of youtube should know this and i also Got a new bullet antenna yesterday. Shout out to Christina for the new bullet antenna. The faded red one is gone. Now I have the black one to match. I wonder if anybody would notice if I didn't say anything. I, I, I think it changes the look of the truck a little bit. I still got the red accents on the control arms and I'm leaving that because I had those custom powder coated and I actually really like them. So I'm leaving that because my favorite color is red and I want to leave some red on there. But changing the bullet antenna really changed the look of the truck. It's my new mod of the day. I've also got some 17 inch stocks back here if anybody wants to cash your boy out. The tires are trash, but if you need some rollers, hit me up. All right, All right. All right. We just finished up the 2022 1500 six inch lift 26 by 14s and 35s i get more questions than anything about what size lift should i do to clear 35s what size lift should i do to clear 37s you know is a nine inch six inch how much cutting this i get all these questions all the time and what better truck what better day it's about to start raining what better opportunity to show you guys the fix to wanting to run bigger wheels and tires on a six inch lift on these new body style gmc's and chevy so we got this black gmc finish up 26 by 14 artem off-road 35 14 50 26 venom rt beautiful tire beautiful wheel let's just let's just take a moment and appreciate how beautiful this truck is gloss black truck we got your red accents the tow hooks on the front the gmc the carbon pro 6.2 liter got the bullet antenna we got the T4 on the side. I mean, it's just a beautiful, beautiful truck. I love the, the squareness of the Venoms. And actually, this is the first set of Artems I think that we've done on one of these trucks. And it just, I saw it up on the rack a little while ago and I was like, just, damn it, man, that thing is freaking beautiful. I love the big gloss black lip on this wheel. Got the black spike lug nuts. It's just, it's beautiful. Six inch rough country, 26s and 35s perfect combination on any truck but the big variable here is going to be the 14 wides a lot of people are going to ask how do you do 26s and 35s with a 14 wide and the only way to get around that is to do a fender modification do some trimming on the truck now you have the the valence up front and you've got the big mud flap in the back super easy two-step process right you got to cut the Depending on the truck and depending on the size, the GMCs are a little bit worse because the GMCs have that molding up here. The Chevys don't have as much molding to work around, but it's, it's essentially the same from the GMC to Chevy. You do have to do a little bit of trimming on the front up here, which I'll show you guys the finished product here in a little bit. So a little bit of trimming, and then we did a little bit on the back just to get it off the rack, but it will get cleaned up here in a little bit as well. Remove the rear mud flap, and then you end up having to 
Take a self tap screw and just push it back a little bit. Do a little bit of trimming, cut a little bit of metal. A little bit of metal trimming in the back, remove the mud flap. And a little bit of trimming up front. Now on a nine inch and 14 wides and 37s on the GMCs, most of the time you end up having to come into the metal and we may end up having to do that today. The truck is not done. All we did was roughly cut it to be able to get it off the rack. And I will show you guys a finished product here in a moment. Bam, just like that, we got the truck finished up. Now it is dirty, it's been raining. So obviously we're not gonna get every single truck clean all the time before it leaves. But I wanted to show you guys the fender modification before it leaves. We did touch it up with a little bit of rubber, touch the paint up, little clear coat with the rubber trim on the outside and then sometimes they put the rubber trim on the inside sometimes we don't but we end up needing just aesthetically we end up need to cut a little bit off the corner just to make it look even but to be honest when i walked outside when the truck after it was test driven and ready to go for the customer i didn't even know this was cut and i didn't know if it had the trim on it to begin with now the black truck is obviously going to blend in 10 times better and it really doesn't even look like it was cut you know unless you knew that the mud flap was there you're probably not going to notice that anything was done it's a little more noticeable on other colors right but on the black great example of what the fender modification should be for the new body style gmc's and silverado if you guys enjoyed the video today or thought it was helpful make sure you guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button drop a comment you guys know i appreciate you guys till the end of me let's get this bread